What's up? Hey there, Trumparoonies! Oh my gosh. What's up? <laughs> What's up, kids? Do you want to win a shopping spree at Toys R Us? That's the most 90s thing I can think of. <laughs> that is really nice. Winning what, what a shopping spree at Toys R Us? <laughs> uh, so we went ahead and leveled up Kikata a little bit because, uh, yeah. It was bad. It was <laughs> awful. six or whatever. That was bad. It was awful. So we're still going to keep him in the front for a we, little bit we, at least. We got confused by Zubats so many times. Oh, the level 10 Zubats in this cave are absolutely horrible. Because <sighs> Supersonic never hits when you use it. <laughs> but it always hits when your opponent does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, Skirtle's got a level from that. Because Geodudes are Cause, resilient. Also, because Skirtles had to take out all those fucking Zubats. Well, one of those no, Zubats. No, one of them. It was bad. We almost lost yeah, some Mo Mo Mopsy and uh, Zinger couldn't handle They were so confused the that they just... Yeah, they were wouldn't... like really low down on health. It was like, jeez. <laughs> uh, really so now we can finally go this way. So, yeah, we're going to continue exploring Mount Moon. Hopefully escape its bounds. Probably not, um, this episode. Cause... The one guy's got a Voltorb or a Mock or... Not Mock, but Grimer, both. It's something like that. Oh, Magnemite. Maybe. What? Don't sneak up on me. That was that was good. I like... Oh, he's I love probably, him. I love his pose. He's so much. Look at his noodle arm. He's it's like a little <laughs> Adventure fist. Time noodle arm. His fist. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Magnemite. This is gonna be an issue. Ma Magnemite looks like he knows. Oh, uh, Matt, this is gonna be an issue. Magnemite looks like he Matt, knows. this is gonna be a big issue. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is uh, it. Singer's he's gonna not, do it. He's not a steel type, though. <laughs> yeah, but we have Slender Shock. It's our only oh, Pikachu doesn't have, like, tackle or anything. No. Holy shit, this is sucks. This is sucks. Well, prepare to use some potions. Oh my gosh. No one else. Well, if he doesn't have Thundershock, he keeps tackling. Then again, this is a Pikachu, so he's probably just yeah, pretty smart. Yeah, he might. Well, Alex, can the can the the AI in this game really be smart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to use some potions here and there. Yeah, we're good for one more time. Should be hopefully. Uh, if we're not fucked. <laughs> what if this guy, this man, this super nerd, who's just like he's posing and has a noodle arm, <laughs> it destroys us. Ravages our bones. Whoa, you think he'd do that? Did he say something about that? <laughs> Did he say something about me? He's pretty pissed. <laughs> He's pretty pissed that we should not up on him. <laughs> what was he doing? Is he like looking for fucking? He's a is he a Pokemaniac? Uh, yeah, he's or is just, he a super nerd? He's he's just looking for Pokemon droppings or something. Is, was he a super nerd or a Pokemaniac? He's probably a super nerd. He's looking for. He's he looked like a super nerd. He's he's experimenting. He's looking up for rocks. And he's just like, I'm this gonna... gets my rocks off. Oh, he didn't have to. Well, we were talking about rocks. You're right. And he would make that joke. It wasn't my joke. It was his joke. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame <laughs> the, the character writes itself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's how the people wrote Fire Emblem Fates? The characters are writing themselves. We They're can't all... stop them. <laughs> <laughs> They're all awful. <laughs> now I sound like, well, I was going to say, I sound like a Fire Emblem fan. <laughs> Upset. Matt, this is a Voltorb. Oh, shit. But, I this mean... This is bullshit. <laughs> At least these potions are healing a lot. I mean, this, this games don't look good anyways, but... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! No, okay, this games don't look good anyways, but I'm pretty sure if they did look good, Fire Emblem fans would still be upset. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, that's not fair, because my joke's about Fire Emblem fans being upset about everything. The only thing they've gotten to be upset about were Shin Megami Tensai X Fire Emblem, which isn't even called that anymore. <laughs> the, the new Fire Emblem games which look like doo-doo. And Rory being in Smash. You know what? I take it back. They should not be upset about Rory being in Smash. He's a, he's an amazing boy. He's a good boy. He's a sweet little boy. And he's really good in Smash. And I like... I don't know if he's really good. I think he's really good. I like him. <laughs> Was <laughs> that was like a five-year-old speak about how much they like Roy. I don't know if he's good, but I like him. I, like him I don't know if Roy's good, but it's not about if he's good. It's about heart. And Roy has one single one. I hope. <laughs> Can't prove it. Well, we finally got through hell. Voltorb's like, hey man, fuck you. I didn't even learn my move yet. Yeah, that's a super nerd. Super nerd. That, my Pokemon will do. I, why does the U look so weird in this game? 
What? The capital U. Fat? It's really weird. It's a little fat? No, it's a little, like, completely straight on one side. Oh, it's completely straight. And then, like, a curve on the other side. It's weird. Is it, like, what? Is it, Look, Zoo. Zoo bat. It's like... Oh, okay, yeah. You see what I mean? Well, some some weird people put a stick at the end of the top capital U, and it's a time. You gotta stick out their ass. That was not sorry. conducive to this learning environment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I hit. Wow. With confuse. confuse. I was gonna say confusion, but that's the wrong move. It would have actually been effective. If we get an Abra, can we trade it for Marcel, the Mr. Barn? His name's Marcel. I think. That's uh, I'm not sure. pretty incredible. I'm not sure, but. It might be. <laughs> We're not gonna get an Abra. We might wanna go back and get some potions. Are you allowed to do in-game trades in Nuzlocke? Um, I don't think there's something against it, per se. Cause if by- Well, like, if- in this one in particular, especially in Nuzlocke in general, like, if you have the Pokémon, that's already Providence. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Especially if it's Take an Abra- Take out and catch well, it. if it's an Abra, which, you know, you're not gonna get in a Nuzlocke because yeah. you have to catch I'm it. I'm gonna go out and get some more potions. Oh, good. I still need more potions, though. Because yeah. if we want to get through this cave without going back to the Pokemon Center a bunch of times, oh, 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 I want it. I want it. You can't have it, Alex. I want it. I want it. I just want it. <laughs> it's really cute. You know how weird it would have been if Clefairy was Ash's Pokemon? It would have been really, really weird, but I love Clefairy. Do you think? I mean, it wouldn't be weird because we're used to it. But, th but like, no, this is like us getting teleported to a parallel dimension or oh, something. Oh, okay, that'd be fucking weird. Also, what if Clefairy lost weight like Pikachu did? Ew. If Pikachu oh, be, no, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, <laughs> Okay, okay, to imagine what I just imagined, Pikachu's current body type, but with Clefairy's features. Ooh, like with that, like, ooh, red, no. that round head and like the oh, thin body. Oh, oh why'd you do that? Uh, that was my brain, not my fault. That's fucked up. What if, but then, but Alex, if we put up with this monstrosity, maybe Pikachu would still be fat. And I want that. That's an, that is an interesting question. Would Pikachu become skinny if he was just, like, a side character? Well, no, he didn't lose all that weight. He lost all that weight journeying with Ash for ten years. <laughs> he's been pulling his own weight, so he's gotta lower it. Yeah. Because and then all the other Pikachus are like, this one's making us look bad. He's making us look like lazy couch potatoes. We gotta hit the gym. Well, in-game, in he's not that, that skinny. He, he's still pretty skinny compared to old Pikachu, but... Yeah. The in-game models are, like, still a little fat. Old... If that, we can never get out of this uh, godforsaken cave, we can get some potions. Oh, wait, wait. There's a story I want to tell. Okay. There's a Pokemon-related story I want to tell. I, I That's good and topical. I it today. Okay. So, um, back when I was a kid, Pokemon was naturally the shit. Yeah. It was right around that time. I was in first grade, and Pokemon, you know, was everywhere. Everybody was buying the cards. Everybody in school was buying the cards. And, of course, like a cartoon episode, everybody was like, we gotta get Charizard. <laughs> Nobody has a Charizard card. It was the shit, right? This hobby store at the mall had a Charizard court card yeah. for a hundred and twenty fucking dollars. Jesus. I think it was a hundred and twenty. No, 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 wait, wait. My memory might be wrong because I think that's Charizard's HP. <laughs> but, listen, it was a lot of money. I don't know how much it was, but it was a lot of money for a Charizard card. Yeah. More, maybe it was like 60 or something. It's a lot. More than you would pay for a single card, right? Yes. My parents kind of rule. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, it was it was Easter. I don't know why, for Easter, for Easter of all things, I, I, yeah, I go out. Easter's like, a lot of kids get like small things, like yeah. card packs and stuff. Yeah. I, I usually got like a DVD or something. Oh. But... I but, got card packs. And, and then I usually got like a <laughs> I usually got like a DVD and then candy. I remember I got the Digimon movie, I think, one year. Yeah, candy is the big thing. Or maybe that was Valentine's Day. I don't know. But the thing Valentine's is Valentine's Day! You don't get presents on that unless you are married I, I or think, in a I think relationship. my mom got me the Digimon movie for Valentine's Day one That's year because I wanted it. Are you gonna it. marry it? No. Well, actually, yeah, I'll marry that Why movie. Why don't you protect it? It's chastity <laughs> and marry it. Um anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I wake up on Easter, and I get my little Easter basket, and it's full of Pokemon cards, and it's, it has that fucking Charizard from the hobby shop. Like, she fucking bought it for me, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, Mom, you're the best! I'm gonna open these Pokemon cards! <laughs> and I got another fucking Charizard! My mom was so upset! My voice is doing weird things. Yeah, my you mom, are. My mom was so mad. Like, she was like, she was like, ooh! <laughs> I spent so much money and you just got one! <laughs> so, 
so then I had two Charizards. And that's the story of how I never let go of two Charizards, <laughs> even though I had two. And then, no, and then, and then, every once in a while nowadays, my sister will be like, Hey Matt, one of those Charizards you have should be mine. Let's sell it for money. And I'm like, it's not first edition carry. It's worth like six bucks. <laughs> I just... Plus, why is it supposed to be her? I just let my sister's name slip. <laughs> Those were air horns. I'm embarrassed now. Yeah. Please end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why why, does she feel entitled? Was it both your basket or what? I Well, I don't even think it was... I think over the time we got more Charizards because they just became... <laughs> fucking common. <laughs> oh, go ahead and talk about how Listen, you got more Charizard. I, I never had one. I'm sorry. Never once had I'm a Charizard. Sorry. Still don't I, I have might, a Charizard. I might have given one to her because I was nice. <laughs> Something like that. Where are you going? Oh, the Back to potions. Good okay. I'm like, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> I'm weaving through these people. There's no Pokemon over there. Yeah. If this was back, if this was in the future in the fifth gen, we could have a Pokemon and a Pokemon Center. They got rid of that though because features should be gotten rid of as soon as possible. No, no, that's what Pokemon games always do. do. I think I said this before. Well, it, like with Omega Ruby and stuff. It no, was no, like, I understand. It's yeah. because of the town. That's layout, a remake. But, yeah. but, but like Pokemon will always put in a cool feature, and then in the next game it'll be gone. They'll usually bring it back. Sometimes. Eight. Like, my weird number is gonna be like, eight. Like because okay, Gold and Silver it was like night and day, and that was the shit. And then they were like, "You guys like night and day?" Well, guess what? Yeah. No. Do we have an escape rope? I'll buy one. And then. They kind of, I guess they didn't take away secret bases. No. Because there was the underground thing. Yeah. But I, I sure can't, and they took away, I guess I, I also understand Pokemon following you because they'd have to make sprites and shit, but that's still cool. Yeah. And I want it back, but um. Look how people are on screen, it's insane. Look at that. Yeah. Too many people. Is that a cult? When you see a large congregation of people, your first thought isn't a call. <laughs> your first thought, why did you burp? <laughs> that was not a burp. <laughs> you were like, Ugh. That was my voice trying to catch up with the thoughts that my brain was having about you. <laughs> Which were shrouded. <laughs> with negativity. <laughs> negativity. What was I talking about? Uh, how you have more Charizards than me? No, uh, listen. Any amount of Charizards over one would be listen. more than me. You had a fucking Celebi card. Two. Oh, and here it begins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had no. Mine was a ta tale of survival. And by survival, I mean it was Christmas, and two different packs had him. I didn't get one bought for me. I didn't get one given to me on a silver spoon. <laughs> I had to open packs with my little kid hands, and there happened to be two. <laughs> it was really cold. My hands were cracking. Yeah, it was. It was cold, Matt. My living room is very cold. <laughs> I remember getting getting a, a text message from Alex like sometime you know, a, f a few years ago, uh, mm -hmm. maybe it was last year. Whenever Link Between Worlds came out, yeah, and it was cold. It was a cold, cold winter in this fucking. Oh, it was the uh, it was the year where there was a huge uh, like cold like a cold storm coming through, yeah. and it like was yeah. absolutely and, lowest temperatures we've ever had. And we in live this in region. a we live in an area that gets decently cold in the winter. Yeah, so it was and, way colder than usual. And so Alex just sends me a message. And it's just this fucking, like, blanket fortress. And she's just like, I'm just gonna play, like, for Twin Worlds all day in this. And I was like, I'm jealous. Yeah, that was two years ago, because I had my... I have I have a room now. I used to live in the <laughs> living room, but now I have a room. And it is, uh... Yeah, last year I had it. So, that was the year before. And that was hell. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that, that blanket fort was pretty rad. I didn't have any pillows, unfortunately, because my family just doesn't have pillows around. So, I just had to make do with a bunch of blankets. Yeah. It was great. I used, a, I used a wooden sword and a cane as my uh, <laughs> supports. Oh, I really wish I could kill this Caterpie in a reasonable amount of time because that would be easy experience. <laughs> but unfortunately... Yeah. Uh, uh, yawn, yawn, oh, that's a yawn. Yeah. That's a move. Not yet. Not yet. Not yeah, yet. Don't get out of hand. Is that Gen 2 or 3? I don't know, I think. Wait. I think that's two. Two. Three. Is it two? Maybe. Huh. Now we don't know. I guess the only way to find out. I was is really hoping that would kill it. <laughs> I was gonna hope that would kill it so I could be like, is to watch the next episode of Running Gun. <laughs> <laughs> also to comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. 
We can't. We still we still fight the trainer. We still fight the trainer. Any episode. Any episode. Any we can't. Any episode. Any any episode. Are you serious? Because <laughs> he's gotta got two Pokemon left. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kikaider, you can do it. I don't know if Kikaider can do it. I didn't watch the new movie. <laughs> Or the old show, or, or anything about Kakaider except that episode of Gaim. Put it up! <laughs> you just, you're making more work for specifically yourself. You're right. But now everybody's like, what's Gaim? That sounds stupid. And it is. But it's great. <laughs> Fair it's, point. Al it's also wonderful. I didn't know I was fighting the three Metapod trainer. I'll be I'll be fair. I've only seen two of his Pokemon, and only one of them was a Metapod. Metapod looks really sad. Uh, he looks pissed to me. Well, okay, no, the way I always look at him, he looks pissed. But the way you're actually supposed to look at him, I think he looks sad. Listen, we're not having this discussion again because I'm pretty sure I know, we, we did. Had it. We did have this description. Dis discussion. <laughs> description. Oh, what is happening? Oh no. Pidge this is the worst. Pidgey's got like cartoon hair. It's got like three. <laughs> oh, don't remind me of like, uh, like cartoon hair. Eddie and Eddie hair, like Eddie's yeah. hair. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. How does that translate to real hair? That's, you see, that's what keeps no, me up well, at night. Well, here's what you gotta do. You gotta search all those realistic uh, pictures of yeah about that. I I uh, uh, all those anime pictures of Eddie and Eddie. <laughs> On DeviantArt.com. Dude, anime pictures of like cartoons are so. Oh. Remember, wait, do you remember fucking Fusion Fall when they did it? F they, they, they like Cartoon Network did it. Yeah. And there was an anime ass Dexter. <laughs> oh my gosh! And the Teen Titans were like the same, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope. <laughs> oh, Fusion Fall! I played that for like a, a day. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I forgot. I hate MMOs. <laughs> I'm done now. I just can't play MMOs. I get into them, but, um, yeah, I eventually the, just fall The off. only one I actually legitimately had fun with was that dungeon fighter. Yeah. Game. And I was a gunman guy. And I think you were a witch. I like magic, so probably. Yeah. And then the other, there was a priest, and he was a big guy with a cross, and he hit people with a cross. I don't think that's the intended cool. use. Well, it's not, but it's awesome. <laughs> Is the intended use of Pokemon Blue to play it in the year 2016? What if that is the intended use, Matt? What if they, with their big hearts over at Nintendo, were like, we want everyone to play this forever. <laughs> we want this to be appreciated far into the future. We. <laughs> I Nobody can see me, but I did the little Iwata thing. Where you put your hands out. Yeah, when I put my hands out. I, I, I thought we'd go into more detail. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Okay. But why does he look. This wait, guy. we already talked about how he looks like a little Giovanni, right? I'm pretty sure we already talked right. about how he looks like a little Giovanni. Get that Pokeball and let's end the episode. <laughs> well, there's two Pokeballs. Get those two Pokeballs! <laughs> Grab them! No, no, no! Okay. I refuse. Next time on Run and Gun, find out what's in those Pokeballs only. One of them is an escape pod. What else did we need to look up before the next episode? I'm sure. Yawn. <laughs> well, you're gonna look it up. Yeah, that's the answer. You'll find out next time. See if you're right. <laughs> okay.